Hey everybody, um, I want to do a quick quick update on Micah. Uh, I've been trying to record this video for a little bit, but he's been running around the car, banging on the windows, jumping up on the roof of the car. So I just want to get it done before he comes back outside and sees me doing something that has nothing to do with him. So, <laughs> so some of you guys know um, I've been having some issues at Micah's school. I, um... I uh, had made a Facebook post about a month ago about some things that Micah's principal had said to me. Uh, so basically she was telling me that Micah has made no improvements and that I was going to quote unquote end up in places with him that I don't want to be. Oh my gosh. So that's... Ugh, ugh. Anyways, this came like... I don't know a couple of it was like two days before Micah was supposed to start his ABA I had just oh um, I had just taken him to get his uh, assessment done and you know I, I told her you know he's gonna start ABA like any day now like any day now yeah so anyway, so I got Micah into his ABA therapy. The assessment took about two hours. Um, during that two hours, you know, I was at home. My stomach was in knots. I was so nervous. I was nervous that he would qualify, but then I was also equally nervous that he would not qualify. Um, I, I don't know which part made me more. Uh, <laughs> I don't know which part made me more nervous that he would or he wouldn't. Um, so anyways, like I said, like two days before Micah's supposed to start his ABA, she says that shit to me. Moving on. So now Micah's been in ABA for a little, almost a month. I would say, I think it's been about three, maybe four weeks now. Um, and when I picked him up today, his therapist is telling me just what an, a great day he's having. Which is what prompted me to make this video because almost every day that I've gone to pick Micah up. No, every day that I've gone to pick Micah up. He goes three days a week from 12 to 3. So Monday, Wednesday, thir Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, he's there from uh, 12 to 3. And every day that I've gone to pick him up, she's telling me just what a great day he's having. Um, now, that's not to say that he hasn't had some behaviors. Um... You know he's had like minor issues but nothing like extreme and it, it's just completely contradictory to what I'm hearing from his school from his school I'm being told that he's making no improvements I need to medicate him and uh, nothing's working he's gonna be a criminal when he's older I gotta pick him up he can't ride the bus he's hitting his teacher he's doing this he's doing that um, and then at this ABA, this place where the whole objective is to push him to his limits, to, to help him through some of those behavior issues, and I'm being told that he's doing awesome. Um, you know, now granted, this, this is not completely abnormal. I mean, Micah's had good weeks at school like he's had weeks where he's had like no behavior issues I've had no phone calls or the behaviors were really minor you know where nobody needed to be called um, but because of that I'm I'm kind of nervous like I, I feel guilty that he's having so many good days because I know there are other kids that really need this this therapy as well but I'm also nervous because I don't want him to lose this like, I'm, I'm kind of scared that they're going to say, oh, well, he's doing really good. He doesn't need ABA anymore. And then he's going to lose it. And then all of a sudden, his, like, behaviors are going to start back up. And then I'm going to have to go back to the end of this waiting list. Because um, those waiting lists are long, <laughs> you know? The fact that I got him in as quickly as I did was just short of a miracle. Um, I just happened to walk into the building at the right time time basically is how I got him diagnosed and got him in this ABA therapy so quickly um but anyways so uh, you know he's doing really he's doing really well uh I'm hoping that Amanda and I can get our finances together so that maybe next year I can send him to like a Montessori school or just um like maybe a private school one that's 
not so um, crowded. Uh, I do feel like being in a classroom with so many kids um, and a lot of stimulation does cause a lot of his issues. I've brought that up to the school or rather to his principal several times in the past, but you know, what do, what do I know? I'm just the parent. I'm not an, I'm not an educator or anything, you know. Uh, but anyways, so that's it for what's going on with Micah. Um, like I said, he's he's been doing great in ABA. Um, a few bad days at school, but um, I would say in the last, well, last week he had fall break. So I guess that doesn't count. So, <laughs> so I was going to say he's had two good weeks of school, but last week, you know, again, they, they didn't have school. Uh, so... <laughs> <laughs> so but so far let's see he's this week's been okay he's been in school three days since the break so he's been doing really well uh, <laughs> all right anyways um i'm gonna make another video soon because i have some news i want to share with you guys um I'm getting ready to start a new career. Ah, some of you guys already know. I've talked about it um, in some Facebook posts, but I'm going to talk more in depth um, in my next video. So I will see you guys later. Bye.